of this series of Introduction to Judicial Review. My name is Robert Carnworth. Uh, since I retired from the Supreme Court in March 2020, I rejoined my old chambers, now called Landmark Chambers, where I've been able to do some advisory and other work and also help with some of the chamber's projects. In my time as a judge, many of the most interesting cases uh, that came before me arose from judicial review. I had specialised in judicial review at the bar and carried on when I became a judge. In the Supreme Court, perhaps some of the most prominent cases were judicial review. For example, a case called Privacy International, which considered the extent to which Parliament can oust the jurisdiction of the court by legislative provision. That, of course, raises very difficult constitutional issues. And many of you will also remember the two Miller cases, which were about Brexit, one about the power of the government to issue a notice to terminate our membership of the European Union following the referendum, the other about, about the power of the Prime Minister to suspend Parliament during the course of the, de the debates on Brexit. Both of them attracted enormous attention from the public and were of great constitutional significance. At a more modest level, many cases are heard on all sorts of subjects involving central and local government. Most of them are heard by the Administrative Court, but in more recent years, particularly in relation to immigration, there are judicial reviews heard by the Upper Tribunal. Now, whether or not you practice in public law, it's important for you to know the scope of the judicial review jurisdiction. And, of course, if you do practice, it's essential that you know the procedure and how best to go about either bringing a claim or defending a claim. With that in mind, Landmark Chambers has put together a series of videos on the basic principles of judicial review, from the pre-action stage to remedies and everything in between, and including important issues such as the duty of candor. These are designed for those starting out as public law practitioners, whether as trainees or pupils, or newly qualified practitioners, or indeed anyone else dealing with the judicial review procedure a few words about the Chambers, as I say, I practised in the predecessors to Landmark for many years before going onto the bench, and they were then specialists in judicial review and other matters, including particularly planning. Um, it is now perhaps one of the leading public law chambers, alongside its wide expertise in planning, property and environmental matters. Members regularly act in cutting-edge and high-profile public law cases. And through these videos, you'll meet some of the very experienced practitioners practicing at Landmark. I hope you find these videos informative and helpful. Thank you very much.